Hello guys, my name is Khan and actually in today's video I will show you guys that how you can use R. So this is the first video and in this video I will show you guys that what you guys need to work in R. So actually R is a statistical tool and in order to work in R, so there is a basic, you can install R for Windows. If I click R for Windows, you will get uh, this kind of view. Uh, usually nowadays, uh, people more likely, especially the beginners use this R Studio, as you can see here. But in order to install R Studio, you must have to install first the R for Windows, the disk package. So you have to, and both are free packages. So you can Google about R install uh, R for Windows. You just have to install the .exe file and everything will get installed automatically. And once you install R for Windows, after that you need to install R Studio and again you can Google it and you can write down uh, install R Studio and as I told you guys that both software are free. Uh, uh, so once you install R Studio, uh, uh, automatically R will create a shortcut link uh, and you can open it, you will probably get this kind of window. Uh, and before starting it, I have created, uh, I have already have one uh, data sets for you, for you in R. So I will start from there and I will show, explain you the different windows uh, in R and what those windows can be used. So I have, so RDS file is actually a data file in an R format. So if I open it, so, so, so uh, I'm saying it again that R is a free software. You don't need to buy it. You uh, for for uh, for uh, everyday use, it's free. For commercial use, you may have to buy a license. So once you open the R, you will find this console. What is this console? Actually, in this console, you will get your results uh, here. So whatever you do, you tab, tabulate data, you do some regression analysis, all the results will appear here. And directly you can also enter commands or functions here. So suppose if I write down two plus two and then enter, you can see the R will show me the result in this console window. Uh, you can also enter directly commands here. So suppose if you want to print something in this console, there is a command in R, which is print, sorry, print. And the good thing about R is that R automatically detects that what kind of command. So it gives you an option. Are you trying to enter print or you're trying to enter different command? So suppose I want to enter print. So I will say print and then I can enter uh, hello, welcome to R. And if I press enter, I got an error because uh, for this print command, we need to enter in inverted comma. In order to go back to the previous command, you just have to enter above arrow and I will enter the inverted comma. Welcome to R. And now you can see that R haven't given us any error. I have printed welcome to R. So this is a bit short brief about what this console do. Yeah, and again thing is that if you want to clear this console, uh, you can simply press here or if I say there is another shortcut so two plus two if I want to clear this you can enter control and plus L the L alphabet so as you can see the uh, R will clear the console and after that I will show you guys that there are some uh, function this window about this window so files you usually don't need this kind of this window most of the time but more important uh, tabs are plots so if you plot anything in your r you will get the plot here and from this window you can use this export tab to export 
your graph into different format into picture into png or even into word document you can export from here and after that there is a very important tab package what is package mean because when you install r r will not come up with all the packages packages so so if you are trying to use different kind of regression you may need to first install the package related to it so in order to install you come here package you can enter install and you can enter a package name that you want to install and then just simply install it and stata will automatically install it and also you can update your packages from here after that a very important especially for the beginners if you want to learn anything you can i suppose if you want to learn any command I suppose if i want to learn summary there is a command named as summary in in r so i will say summary if i press enter the r will tell me about the explanation of summary command how you can use it and i will usually also give some examples so here if you come here in the end uh, r also have given me example you can also open this uh, if you want to get a maximized view there is a button here every anywhere when you see this kind of button in r it's means to maximize the window so if i can there you can see that r will maximize your window it will be more clear to see it go over your mm, help window then i will go to the above window uh, here we see another window the environment will the environment to, tab will show you all your data sets all scalars that you have created so uh, what does it mean by scalars so suppose if i create in stata you have create scalars vectors so suppose if i create a vector scalar a is equal to sorry if i come to my console and press a is equal to one you my a now if i press enter the a will appear here if you not down as you can say that uh, i have created one scalar which is a is equal to one and now i can also create a uh, vector in r2 so suppose my vector is b is equal to in order to create a, a vector we call it c c is kind of saying that you are creating a vector and i will say one two three so if i press enter b should have to be appear here in r another thing i want to show you guys that a equal sign or you can also in order to assign a value to some some things like uh, vector you can also write down these things so suppose now if i create c so you can assign the values by a greater than sign and then this sign and then i will uh, so if i create there is a function named as sequence so i'm using sequence so sequence means that i will create the my sequence starts by uh, 2 and ends at 10 and increase by by is equal to 2 so you can see that i have created uh, a vector which is from starting from 2 increasing by 2 and up till 10 so and here if you guys see that i have not used equal sign this arrow means which is actually greater uh, greater than sign and the negative sign but as you can see it seems like an arrow arrow means that you are assigning this sequence to this uh, cc so cc is a vector now so if i press here cc you can see that stata uh, sorry the r will show me all the results and after that uh, as i have already opened one of my data set in my later videos i will show you guys that how you can uh, import data into r or uh, how you can export data from r but here i have already uh, uploaded a data so if i come here you can see that first data sorry r is showing me a bit overview about the data that in my data set there are uh, 74 observations 12 variables the data structure is named as my my data if i want to go into more details uh, i can see that uh, 
these are the variables that these data sets have and these are the variable name before the colon and after that uh, r is telling me the type of the variable the character mean it have a string in it and the number mean that it's a numeric variable and so this is a bit overview but if i click this my data uh, a browse window will open up as you can see this is my browse window i can make it bigger by clicking this arrow and i can see my data more clearly and if i want to go back to the same uh, i can press this button again uh, now actually i don't want to view this data it's just to show you guys but suppose if you don't want to come here and click it you can also write down a command which is very important command view and you will say i will say my data and actually here i will give you another uh, to tell you guys another thing so suppose if you don't want to view the all the variables if you just want to uh, view only one variable so i can say view my data and then i will say dollar sign and then i will tell the variable name which i want to see so this means that i want to view my data after that dollar sign i want i mention the variable name so i will be only able to see only one variable in that case so i will i think probably i will discuss more about view in my future videos uh, and after that i will show you guys so this is a bit uh, and after that if you come again to the environment window there is a very important uh, tab which is import data set you can import data sets from different formats you can import data from excel from spss from text from sas or stata is very very uh, detailed uh, import thing import you can you can import different kind of data set from here uh, and here is the clear so if you want to clear your all objects here so suppose if you have done with your analysis and you don't need the data sets here so you can just simply come here and it will clear not only your data set but also your vector scalars everything will be cleared so i'm not clearing it now right now but if you want to clear you can just simply here click it in the history command it will show all most of your recent things that you have done uh, i have done few commands before so everything can be seen it here so suppose if you are working before and you realize that you need to use some command that you have already entered in your some previous session so you don't have to open your previous code file you can simply come here can give a look and copy it from here and after that we have connections tab so suppose if you want to connect your data from some online system suppose some api so you can use come here and use uh, use this window to connect but most of the time especially for the beginners we will be importing data set from excel from text kind of things and now i will come here so the here is an important thing that if you want to change the view of your i i personally like the way it the it's currently is so i will not change anything but if you want to change anything of your outlook of uh, this r studio you can use these options uh, after that uh, art project create a art project there is an option here uh, I don't think so especially at this stage i need to discuss more into our project but uh, for bigger art coding function programs you may you it's better to use this art project but most of the time you will come here uh, you will can most of the time we will be using this r script so so if i come if so all the things that i was doing here i created a vector so you can just simply you, it's better to write all those things in a script so i will open the r script actually i most of the time i like to r script in a separate window so now yeah, i will show you guys that if i say a is equal to one b is equal to two uh, d is equal to c 
I'm just trying to say that if I execute things from here, so this is my R script now. And if I select this thing, control enter, you can see that R have done the same thing for me instead of entering things into entry, entering my each command uh, one by one in console, I have written down all the commands in my script, R Studio script, and then just executed in one go. Uh, I will oh, recommend you guys that make it a habit to whatever you guys do, do it in a R script because I know that it's easier to directly put uh, commands into your console but suppose if you have to repeat your command then it will be become very cumbersome you have to repeat again and again here but if you have things in R script and you want to change things suppose you want B is equal to 4 you just simply come and you'll change it to b is equal to 4 and then it can execute your code code all again and it will not take more than a few seconds uh, especially when you are doing something and you're calling it again in your later code it will become really nightmare to do things in a console compared to in a doing it in a r script uh, after that, uh, I will show you guys that if you uh, uh, to go file, again, there is an import dataset command, which is the same as if you guys see here, import dataset, both are doing the same thing. You can import dataset from here or from coming to file, you can come here. Then I think edit have all, all the same. So in edit, you can also come and clear console. You have press clear console you can say that clear console go on away uh, after that i will come to an important thing that uh, as you can install our new packages by clicking here and then you can install a new package in r studio just like that you can come here you can install a package here from here it will come up with the same thing it i think especially when you start learning you uh, you will need to install new packages in r and while in my later videos i will also show you guys that how you can install new packages in r and i think in help window if you uh, want to check for the updates that uh, is there any you want to need a new updated r studio you can just simply come for check for updates so this is a kind of a small short overview about R Studio, and as I uh, again in the end I will mention you guys that whatever you code here in R Studio will be applicable in R for Windows. Both are uh, both are same things, but uh, R Studio is more user friendly. Uh, so suppose in R Studio, if you write down the command summary you R studio will automatically detect that maybe you are using this and these kind of things are not more common this kind of user friendly things you will not experience in r but the commands and things are the same and again if, if you want to install r studio you have to install r for windows first and then have to install r studio uh, and i think this is all about the R environment and in my next videos we will discuss it further.